the house of the Lord on today, amen. I promise I won't be before you long, amen. But I didn't come to play patty cake with you on today, amen. I didn't come to sugarcoat the word of God, amen. But I came on the divine call of God with none other than the express purpose to lift him up, to lift his word up, amen, to impart something into your spirit, amen, so that you can have a life-changing experience with the Father who I like to call the Christ, the Messiah, the anointed one, the one who's been good to me, hallelujah, Jesus, the one who picked me up, come on somebody, the one who turned me around, hallelujah, Jesus, the one who placed my feet on solid ground am I the only one that the Lord has done something good for in this house today hallelujah Jesus I don't know about you but I've tasted of his word amen and his word's been real real good to me come on somebody in the midnight hour amen God word has restored me and for that reason I promised him all the days of my life that I will bless the Lord come on somebody at all times Terry in his praise not my praise but Jehovah's praise so continue to see be in my mouth and my soul shall make a boast unto the everlasting father my soul shall make a boast unto the author and finisher of my faith pastor Anderson hallelujah Jesus amen hallelujah Jesus amen somebody say hallelujah to the lamb of God amen God is just good on this morning, amen. And I got a little time, and I promise that I won't be before you long, amen. But I will declare what thus said the Lord on today, amen. I didn't come, like my husband said, 2,000 miles to play with you today. Hallelujah, Jesus. I didn't come 2,000 miles, amen, to play with this word of God today. I came to deliver it, amen. And I came to deliver it in the power and in the demonstration of him who sent me, Pastor Lindsay. Is there a witness in the house today? So if you would turn with me to Galatians 5 and 9, amen. And I'm going to get there in a minute, amen. And when you get there, you say, amen. Hallelujah, Jesus. God is just so good, amen. I read somewhere in my Bible where it said, oh, give thanks unto the Lord because he is good, Marjane, amen. I will praise the Lord, Marjane, all the days of my life, amen. You just let me know when you get there. I'm just talking until you get there, amen. Hallelujah, Jesus. You guys are ready? Somebody tell me what it say, amen. Five and nine, amen. It says a little leaven leavens the whole lump. Is there a witness in the house today? Now I know this word leaven as a substance, amen, typically, typically known to be yeast, amen, and when added to dough, it rises. Is there a witness in the house today? The Greek word zume describes the word as a ferment, amen? And what, what that means is, is that it's something that's heated up, amen? Something that's boiling over, amen? And it's no different than something that is fermented. Juice, when it gets fermented, it turns into alcohol, amen? And what does alcohol do when it gets into you? Is there a witness in the house today? Hallelujah, Jesus. You get a little heated up, amen? Things come out of your mouth that normally wouldn't come out of your mouth, amen. You feel a little confidence in yourself, amen. You feel bold, amen, to do some things and say some things that you normally wouldn't do if you wasn't under the influence of some alcohol. Is there a witness in the house today? Somebody say, hallelujah, Jesus. I know one thing that we are all born in sin and we're shaping in iniquity, amen. This brings me to my points, amen. My topic today is get the leaven out look at your neighbor and say get the leaven out leaven's got to go it can't stay it can't remain it has to go amen is there a witness in the house today so I have a couple points for you today and my first point is sin never announces itself can somebody walk with me on this one sin never announces itself sin never states its intentions and sin never says hello my name is sin and I'm here to shipwreck your life today is there a witness in the house today 
Hallelujah, Jesus. Ladies, this is Women's Day, amen. And you know what I'm talking about, hallelujah. You got that six foot tall, dark skin, six pack, blue eyes, hazel eyes, come up and present himself to you as their witness in the house today. He's nice, he's looking good, he's kind, he's everything that you want that a woman think that a man is supposed to have, amen. But you got your blinders on, amen, because he came to destroy you. He came to shipwreck your life, amen, but you just can't see, amen, because you're not walking in wisdom, amen. You're not walking as that virtuous woman, amen. You don't have the word of God inside of you, amen. Is there a witness in the house today? Am I speaking to myself or am I speaking to the saints of God in this house today, amen? Hallelujah, Jesus. Sin works in a very slowful and sinister way. Are you with me today? Amen. And what I mean by that, amen, it, it's in a sinister way. So you can spot it, amen. You can see it, amen. It's like a red flag, amen. Why? Because it gives the impressions of something harmful. Is there a witness in the house today? And that something bad is about to happen. Come on, somebody. You know it. You see it, amen. You see the sin in your household. Sin is evil, amen. Sin is corrupt, amen. And I come to tell you today that sin is going to show up, amen. Sin is going to show up in your children, hallelujah, Jesus. Perhaps in your spouse or your significant other. Is there a witness in the house today? How about on your job, amen. Sin is going to show up, amen. Is there a witness in the house today? It's time to get the leaven out. Come on, somebody. It's time to get it out. It's time to get it out of the church. It's time to get it out of the bishop. It's time to get it out of the pulpit. It's time to get it out of the deacons. It's time to get it out of the sisters. It's time to get it out of the brothers. Amen. Hallelujah, Jesus. It's time to get the sin out of the church. Amen. I'm reminded, I'm reminded, I'm reminded when sin was running rapid in my house. Come on, somebody. It was time, it was time. See, we don't understand it, amen. We let our children just do any and everything. Is there a witness in the house today? But it was time to get the leaven out of my house, amen. Hallelujah, Jesus. Sin can't rest there. Sin can't abide there. Sin can't rule there, amen. We as parents, we've got to stand up and we cannot continue to condone this type of behavior in our house. Is there a witness in the house today? You guys might thought I was crazy, amen. But I told my youngest at 18 that she had to go, amen. Her behavior was not what she was raised. Is there a witness in the house today? Her behavior was not conducive to the word of God. Hallelujah, Jesus. But that doesn't mean, amen, that she won't turn around. Is there a witness in the house today? That she won't come back. Is there a witness in the house? I read somewhere in my Bible to grow up a child in the way that they should go. And when they grow old, that they will not depart. Hallelujah, Jesus. But I believe the word of God, amen. And I believe that she's covered by the blood of God. Is there a witness in the house today? And I believe um, that my God is going to fix it. And my God is going to work it out. Is there a witness in the house today? Whose report are you going to believe today? I'm going to believe the report of the Lord, amen. Hallelujah, Jesus. And what is that report? Amen. We're talking about a little leaven. Leaven's the whole lump. Is there a witness in the house today? I'm going to believe the report of the Lord. And the report of the Lord states, let me back this train up a minute here. Hallelujah, Jesus. See, we come to the church house, amen. And we want to go to the big churches, amen. And there's several of them out here, amen. But we look at the small church, amen, where things are going right. Pastor said it earlier today, amen, where you don't have a bad report about the church, this church, amen. Walking in Christ, amen. Hallelujah, Jesus. But you want to go to the big church, amen, where everything is going wrong in the church. 
Pastors are sleeping with the secretaries, amen. Deacons are sleeping with the members, amen. Hallelujah, Jesus. But you want to invite me to the big church. Oh, come hear my pastors preach. Come hear my pastor speak. But your pastor's name, hallelujah, Jesus, has been a little bit tainted by the world. Is there a witness in the house today? But I'm going to believe the report of the Lord. And the report of the Lord states, states or says a bishop must be blameless as a steward of God not selfish not soon to anger and not given to wine is there a witness in the house today not given filthy lucre but a lover of hospitality holding fast the faithful word of God which has been taught are you getting the word in this house today hallelujah Jesus hallelujah Jesus the Lord my God is good. Amen. I'm going to call your attention to Matthew 16 and 6. Amen. And it says, then Jesus said unto them, take heed and beware of the leaven of the Pharisees and of the Sadducees. Amen. Hallelujah, Jesus. The Pharisees, let me tell you about the Pharisees. They look good on the outside. Is there a witness in the house today? But on the inside, they full of dead man's bone, a self-righteous person, a person full of hypocrisy. Is there a witness in the house today? I don't know about you, but I don't need nobody smiling in my face, amen. Hallelujah, Jesus, trying to present themselves like they are a man or woman of God, amen. Hallelujah, Jesus. I'm reminded, Kathy, of my previous employment. Is there a witness in the house today? Hallelujah, Jesus. But God is good, amen. And I'm grateful today, amen, that my God kept me faithful, amen. That my God kept me holy, amen. And that my God kept me righteous, amen. Because see, one thing about the wicked one, amen. One thing about that corrupt person, amen. When they see a child of God, amen, they can spot you out. They can single you out. And they're coming, amen, because they want you to join their camp, amen. I don't care if it's man or female, amen, but they coming your way, amen. But you got to be girded, amen. You got to be steadfast, and you got to be unmovable in the things of God, amen. My Bible tells me that we are to let our light so shine so that men and women can see our good works and glorify the Father which is in heaven. Heaven. Let nothing, church, separate you from the will, from the love, from the faith, from the word of God. I come to tell you today about the Pharisees and the Sadducees, amen, because you got to know, amen, you see them all the time, amen. The Pharisees, I told you what they were about, didn't I? The Sadducees are ones who did not believe, amen. They didn't believe believe in miracles amen hallelujah Jesus but thank God today that we are shall I say that I that I believe amen in miracles today I believe today that God turned water into wine I believe today that God healed the sick and that God raised the dead I believe today that God fed 5,000. Is there a witness in the house today? Why do I believe in miracles? It's because I'm a living miracle myself today. Hallelujah. I believe in miracles, church, because God took me from my darkest hour. He picked me up. He turned me around. He placed my feet on solid grounds. Hallelujah, Jesus. I believe that my God is a healer. Why do I believe that he's a healer? Because he healed my body six months ago, church. I should have been dead in my grave. But the Lord, nothing but the Lord, nothing but the Lord, Kathy. He kept me. He kept me for a reason. And I'm glad about it. He kept me for this season. And I'm glad about it. I have a divine purpose here today. Amen. And that is to remind the saints of God that a little leaven, amen, leavens the whole lump. A little dab 
Bible leavens the whole lump. A little taste leavens the whole lump. Is there a witness in the house today? Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah. Look at your neighbor today. And whatever that leaven is, say, get the leaven out. It's got to go. Get the leaven out of my mind. Hallelujah, Jesus. Get the leaven out of my body. Hallelujah, Jesus. Get the leaven out of my bedroom. Hallelujah, Jesus. Whatever your situation is, you got to stand and believe that God is able to do exceedingly and abundantly and above all that we can ever ask or think. Get the leaven out, church, because we're no longer bound, amen, because Christ had liberated us and he set us free. Is there a witness in the house today? Hallelujah. Let this mind be in you, which is also in Christ Jesus. See, leaven, we're going to stay right there for a minute. Leaven is nothing more but a lack of faith. Is there a witness in the house, Pastor Lindsay? My Bible tells me that faith comes by hearing, hearing by the word of God. Is anybody hearing the word of God today? Is anybody believing the word of God today? Faith is the substance, church, of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. Is there a witness in the house today? I read somewhere in my Bible that if you just had the faith of a mustard seed, is there a witness in the house today? God can deliver, amen. God can set free. Hallelujah, Jesus. So stop worrying about that unwavered child, amen. Stop worrying about that unwavered husband, amen. Stop worrying about that unwavered wife, amen. Is there a witness in the house today? Stop worrying about sickness. Stop worrying about sugar diabetes. Stop worrying about high blood pressure. Stop worrying about cancer taking rapid over your body and your soul. Because my God, my, 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 my God, my God, my God, my God, he'll pick you up. He'll turn you around. He'll fix it for you. Is there a witness in the house today? See, my God speaks to the hearts of men. Hallelujah, Jesus. Faith says, Terry, that my personality is no longer going to be altered. Is there a witness in the house today? Faith says that gossiping has to go. Is there a witness in the house today? Well, what am I talking about? Amen. I read somewhere in my Bible where it says, let not no corrupt communication proceed out of your mouth, but that which is to be used of the edifying that it may be minister grace unto the believers. Hallelujah, Jesus. Is there any believers in the house today that believe that my God can give you some grace? Hallelujah, Jesus. Grace to cover your sins. Grace to cover that leaven. Hallelujah, Jesus. Is there a witness in the house today? God is good and he's worthy to be praised from the rising of the sun, Kathy, to the going down there of the same. The God I serve. The God I serve. The God in whom I believe in. He's worthy. He's worthy. He's worthy. He's worthy, he's worthy, he's worthy, he's worthy, and grieve not the Holy Spirit of God, whereby ye are sealed until the day of redemption. Is there a witness in the house today? Let all bitterness, hallelujah, Jesus. Some of us are just bitter today. Some of us are just not forgiven, amen. Some things have just happened in our past. People done us wrong, amen, and we're just bitter today. Get the leaven. Get the leaven out. Say, you got to go. I'm no longer bound. No more chains holding me. Is there a witness in the house today? Hallelujah. Some of us are just angry. We don't know why we're angry. We get angry for the smallest things, the littlest things. 
something that somebody said to us, perhaps an email that we got from the boss, perhaps some communication from somebody. We're just angry, amen. Hallelujah, Jesus. Somebody cutting you off on the freeway, amen. We're just angry today. The waitress didn't bring the right order out. We're just angry. Hallelujah, Jesus. And we're conducting ourselves, not as saints of God. We're going into the restaurants with our church suits on, the big hats, amen, professing to be a child of God, acting contrary. Hallelujah, Jesus. Don't you know that you are to be children of the light, amen? My Bible says everywhere you go, hallelujah, Jesus, let your light so shine. Everywhere you go, hallelujah. You should be exemplifying Christ everywhere you go. Well, what does that mean, Dana Anderson? Oh, my job, amen. I'm going to exemplify my God, amen. Every person I touch, amen, they're going to know that I'm a child of God, amen. Am I right about it, Kathy? Hallelujah, Jesus, amen. She worked with me when I worked at Walmart, hallelujah. Kathy, I didn't have to say anything. But did you know that I was a child of God, amen, by how I conducted myself, amen. Hallelujah, Jesus. No matter what was going on, amen, I kept myself still, amen. Hallelujah, Jesus. I listened to hear from the Lord, amen, on how I conducted my affairs, amen. Hallelujah, Jesus. So I come to tell you today, amen, that God is real, amen. So let no evil communication proceed out of your mouth, amen. Let all evil speaking, amen, be put away. Is there a witness in the house today? I come to tell your church to be kind one to another, tender-hearted, forgiving one another, even as Christ has forgiven us. Hallelujah. I like to say this, amen, but ye serpents, ye generations of vipers, amen, how can you escape the damnation of hell? I come to tell you that a little leaven leavens the whole lump. Keep dabbling in it. Hallelujah, Jesus. You on your way? Not stop straight, straight to the pit of hell, amen. So I come today to tell you that faith, hallelujah, Jesus, that sin is a lack of faith. So if you ask of anything, ask my God to increase your faith today. Hallelujah, Jesus. Ask my God to increase your faith today. Hallelujah, Jesus. And when he increases your faith, amen, you will walk accordingly. You will walk accordingly to the oracles and the principles of God. Hallelujah, Jesus. And you'll hold fast to the word of God, and you will say in your spirit, see, I beseech ye therefore, brethren, by the mercies of God, that she present your bodies a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable unto my God, which is your reasonable, your reasonable, my reasonable service unto God. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. And be not conformed to this world, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind, amen. Because when God renews your mind, you don't think like you used to think. You don't dress like you used to dress. You don't talk like you used to talk. Hallelujah, Jesus, amen. But you put on that whole armor of God, amen. Is there a witness in the house today? God is good and he's worthy to be praised. Be perfect, even as your Father, which is in heaven, is perfect. See, some of us believe that it is impossible, but faith says that God keeps me. Hallelujah, Jesus. Faith says that God will do a metamorphosis in me. Faith says that God will pick me up 
and that God will turn me around. Faith says, no weapon formed against me shall prosper, and every tongue that rises up against me shall utterly be cast down. Faith says, if we live in the Spirit, we shall also walk in the Spirit. Hallelujah, Jesus. Faith says that God is good, that God is great, that God is worthy, church. Oh, yes, he is. Hallelujah for the perfecting of the saints, for the work of the ministry, for edifying of the body. God is good. God is great. I love my Bible and I love my word, amen, because this word has done some great things for me. Hallelujah, Jesus. When I read the word of God, I told you earlier that I found him the Christ, the Messiah, the anointed one in the book of Luke. I found him the son of man in the book of Galatian. I found him my redeemer. Hallelujah, Jesus. He's my redeemer. He's redeemed me and I'm glad about it, Kathy. Hallelujah, Jesus. In the book of John, I found him to be eternal life. Hallelujah, Jesus. When I laid on the hospital bed, is there a witness in the house today? All I can say is eternal life. Hallelujah, Jesus. I command my spirit. I command my soul. I give it to you, Jesus. You have your will. You have your way in my life. Amen. Hallelujah, Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah, Jesus. I know several people that have went through what I went through. They didn't make it out. No, they didn't. They died on that hospital bed. Amen. But God didn't raise them up. He raised me. I said it earlier, he raised me, he raised me. You guys don't know the whole story. Hallelujah, Jesus. You don't know what this body been through. Hallelujah, Jesus. You just got a glimpse of it. Hallelujah, Jesus. But those who know, those who were there, amen, my children and my husband, they can tell you some stories. But I thank God today for giving me the strength, amen, the endurance, amen, to stand today and tell a dying world that Jesus is real. He's real. Oh, yes, he is. He is real. He's real to me. He's real. He's real to me. Hallelujah, Jesus. In the book of Romans, I found him the plan of salvation, amen. Hallelujah. I declare it, I decree it today. Salvation is mine. My name is written in the Lamb's book of life. Nobody can tell me that it's not. Hallelujah, Jesus. No turning back. No turning around. I thought I was good, Pastor Lindsay, but he's made me better, amen. Hallelujah, Jesus. He's made me wiser, amen. Hallelujah, Jesus, amen. No turning around. He can lay me down again. I will declare the name of Jesus through every nation. Hallelujah, Jesus. I will testify about the goodness of Jesus, amen. I won't shut my mouth, amen. Hallelujah, Jesus. I won't turn around. You can't get me caught up in nothing, hallelujah. You can't get me caught up in sin, hallelujah, Jesus. My topic today was a little leaven leavens the whole lump. So in other words, get the sin out. I told you earlier that sin is a lack of faith. Did anybody hear me today? Where's the faithful saints at today? Where's the believers at today, amen? Hallelujah, Jesus. I'm tired of these sugar-coated messages. I'm tired of the men and women playing with the word of God, amen. I'm just tired of it. I'm tired of it. I'm tired of it, Pastor. I am tired of it, church. Amen, amen. We need the house of God to stand on the word of God, amen. We got to stop playing with our children, amen. We got to stop playing with our friends, amen. We got to stop saying that it's okay, amen. 
I don't want to be around sin. I don't want nothing that looks like sin in my presence, amen. I want to be able to shine on them whatever way that I can. I want to breathe on sin. I don't want sin breathing on me. See, sin can't draw me in, but we the saints of God should be able to turn that sin around in some folks that we know, amen. We know a lot of wicked folks. We know a lot of sinful folks. So I will leave you today with this question. What are you doing? to help your family members? What are you doing to help your friends? Are you condoning that wicked spirit, hallelujah, in your house? Are you continuously being pimped, yeah, I'll say it, by your children, by your friends? Are you continually being used by them, amen? Say, get the leaven out. Hallelujah, Jesus. You've got to go, amen? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Come on, give God some glory in the house. Hallelujah.